Hi Year 3, uh, yesterday we looked at frequency tables and bar charts, today we're looking at pictograms and bar charts. So, drawing a pictogram. Javid runs the, the school tuck shop. He does a survey on what drink students prefer. Here are his results. There's number of gyms, there's water, soda, juice and milk and the number of votes. Javid needs to present his results to the school council. So he could use a picture. Each vote represents a number of votes, each symbol, sorry. So this bottle shows two votes. And therefore water, we can see we were counting twos. We can see one, two, three, four, five bottles. So we would know that the number of votes would be two, four, six, eight, ten. One bottle equals two votes. So this is the guidelines for drawing a pictogram. Include a key for your symbol, what your symbol represents. If you don't know that a bottle represents two votes, then you're not going to be able to understand the pictogram. If you are using a key, choose one symbol for the whole diagram. OK, don't then turn into different symbols or lots of different symbols. Keep it simple by using one symbol. All the symbols should look the same. So choose something simple. If you drew a um, something that was very elaborate, something that means it's something that looks very complicated. It might be that you found it hard to draw it all out. So here we need to complete the pictogram. Soda. I can see that sixteen people liked soda. So I would get two, four. Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. I put in eight bottles and I know that each one is two votes, so eight times two would be sixteen. Juice. Nine people like juice. So that would be two, four, six, eight. Now, as you can see here, we have half a bottle. If we know that a whole bottle is two votes, we also know that half a bottle is one vote. And therefore juice, which only has milk, which only has one vote, would have half a bottle. Javid could have used a bar chart. When drawing a bar chart, you need to know all the bars need to be the same width. OK, that means that they're the same size, the bars. Not, might not be the same height, obviously, because one would be shorter than the other, but they need to be the same width, the same in length ways, same size in length ways. You put a gap between the bars, OK? And that should always be the same width too, so it make it nice and neat. OK, so here we're going to drag the bars up. So I can see I've got it on five now, six, seven, eight, nine, because nine people, this is a different survey, nine people had water, soda. I can get it up to the 10 and I can count up to the 15. That one's nice and easy because there's, it's told you what the 15 is. Again, just like water, juice is nine. So I know that that has to go up the same height as the water. But I'm also going to just check it just to check that I've also got it on the one below the 10. Yes, I have. And milk is three. So I go one, two, Three. Let's see if I got it right. So if we had two or three sets of data to present, we could use a multiple bar chart. So this looks very complicated, doesn't it? We know that the garage opens five days a week to repair tyres, exhaust and brakes. The table and the graph show how many each of these represent. Some of the data has been transferred to the graph already and some is in the bar chart and needs to be transferred onto the graph. So I'm going to complete the graph, the bar, the chart first. OK, the um, table first. Sorry. So on Thursday, tyres we can see are light blue. So I'm going to look at the tyres and I'm going to see that it was 15, 16, 17 tyres sold. So I'm going to fill in that. On Friday, 
I can see it's 17, it's one higher than 17, so 18 were sold. Oil, okay, the garage did some work on the oil in the cars. On Thursday, I'm going to count, and that was five cars that they did the oil of. And finally, here, I can see that 10 cars had their brakes sorted on Friday. So now I have this chart filled out, but I need to now complete the bar graph. OK, so on Tuesday, I know that it goes tyres always brakes. So on Tuesday, 17 cars had their tyres checked. So that needs to go up to 15, 16, 17. Um, 12 had their oils checked. 10, 11, 12. And 12 had their brakes checked, so I know that has to be the same height. Wednesday, 19 had their tyres checked, very high. 11 had the oil. 10 had the brakes. Now I know that I've just filled these out, so they're already there, but 11 had their brakes done on Thursday and on Friday five had their oil done. So now we've completed and we can see the changes in the days of the all the things that were done. Okay so we can use this table and graph to answer the questions. On which day did the garage carriage out the most repairs on tyres? So we're just looking at the tyres column here and we can see that the highest number is 20, so it must be Monday. Which was the most common type of repair across the whole week? Um, now we could add them all up, all the to add all the tyres up, add all the oils up, add all the brakes up. But I can see that all of these are in using tens and ones, whereas not all of the others are using tens and ones. So I know that it must be tyres. How many repairs were carried out altogether on Monday? 20 plus 7 plus 5, and 20 plus 7 plus 5 is 32. How many repairs on brakes were carried out during the week? So we need to count up all of these. So I'm going to 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 15 is 27, plus 13 is 40, plus 8 is 48. This table shows favourite flavours ice cream from classes 10C and 10D. There are two ways which we can use bar charts for these classed, uh, classes. We could use a clustered bar chart or a stacked bar chart. Now we're just going to look at stacked bar chart today. Here we can see the difference and they've been, they've, we've got one class and then on top of that we've got the other class. Okay, so then we can see the total numbers that the classes thought and individual classes. Okay, for example, we can see that strawberry, because the yellow is a longer bar than the pink, we know that more people preferred strawberry in class 10C than 10D. We can also see that chocolate was the overall favourite because 20 children in both classes like it but more like to intend D than 10 C and so on. Why do we draw diagrams? OK, these are some reasons why we draw diagrams. A lot of people find it easier to visualise, which means to see the information in diagram. So when we collect data, it's always good to organise it in a table and present it as a diagram. Now, it's quite a tricky concept today. If you want to go back and watch parts of the videos again, please do. You could also have a go at the lesson to have a go at that um, very complicated slide with all the different numbers on the cars, or you can log into my portal and complete your MyMaths work. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I'll see you again tomorrow.